Well, we've come, we've come a few miles. We we passed through Drummond, was it? Yeah. Yeah. And then we went and took a wrong turn. So we did a three-point turn and come back along this road. Um, and we're now at Port Logan, which is a little place on the Mull. Uh, we're going to walk around. It's really quite a small place. We're going to just walk around to the lighthouse and then uh, we'll move on to the next little stop, shall we? Mm -hmm. The ice cream van is closed. Yeah, you can <laughs> have cool licks yep. and hot drinks. Cool licks and hot drinks. Oh, that's, that's good. Let's have a little look. It's very pretty. Let's have a little look and then we'll get back in the warm again. Well, here we are. There's no sign saying no overnight parking that I can see uh, down here. Um, and there's some, I think there's some toilets locally, but I haven't found them yet. But there's I have found air. some air. bins and a tap. And up the hill there was an air on the farm, yeah, which Sue's just mentioned. Um, that looked pretty good. So there's plenty down here for um, camper vans. Uh, come on, Oscar, we're going for a little walk. You found something to sniff? Come on, boy. So he's got a little boat in the garden and it's got his resident seagull on the top of the mast. And yellow wellies. And yellow wellies on the boat, yeah. Ah, now I think this is a polite sign to ask us to not stay overnight. Yeah, politely asking us not to stay overnight. And uh, the toilets are down there. Are you going to show them the diver? Have a look at the diver. Yeah, look, there's a diver over there, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go and have a look at him. Oh, he's got a lobster on his back. <laughs> That's the best scarecrow I've ever seen on the farm here. Yeah. So a lot of fresh air about here. Beautiful car park if you want to come down for the day and walk around. Looks like there's a bit of fishing going on children's play areas and uh, Smurf is just up the hill up there behind that cottage. Well we made it to the lighthouse. Here it is. Not in working order now. Okay. And the fisherman there and now we're just across the water from Smurf over there. So who wants to go up the steps and have a look up in the next bit? A bit precarious. I'll follow you and Oscar. <laughs> Lordy. Hang on mate. Wait for me. There's a fisherman hiding behind there. Look at that for you. Oh, what's the gutter? Don't go up there. Mm -hmm. Puppy. Oh, we're out of the breeze here. Nice view from this one there. Yeah. I feel like I'm on a boat. <laughs> I think he is probably sheltered around there. It's just about November, November the 1st. Sue's discovered this little craft shop was closed today, but uh, it's uh, Boo Boo Crafts. And the, this is the old Waybridge building, and there's the Waybridge, look. So presumably the fishermen used to weigh their catch there, haven't they? There's a lighthouse behind Sue there where we've just been. So we're going back to the van and we'll catch you at the next stop.
another stop. Got my hat on this time. Extra layers. An extra layer. A little bit of a I've breeze here. There's not much wind on the other side of uh, the mole, but here, here it's um, yeah, very windy. We're at um, Port Patrick mm -hmm. this time. Shading behind Smurf here. Some lovely water and a shot behind us. I've just taken a picture off. Show you that in a second. We're going to wander around and uh, you never know, we might get a cup of tea. That'd be nice. Well, that'd be nice. Need something to warm up. Yeah. So here's Smurf again, parked, another free park, car park as far as I can see, um, at Port Patrick here. Plenty of lovely open spaces to walk. I can see some steps going up the side of the hill up there. My goodness, I'd love to do that. Uh, just been sitting watching the, uh, the waves coming in here. It's high tide at the moment. Around about now. It's not far off high tide anyway. And a uh, lovely place to sit. And another lighthouse. Just walking along the coast here now. And uh, beautiful sound of the sea. Just go and see us. people climbing the staircase. We're going to go and see the view from up there. Dunsky Castle. said it's adorable going back down. I have to agree with her. But we're only halfway up. We're almost at the top. Slightly out of breath. Sue's got a phone call. Block of my view, look. Look at that. Paul Patrick. Well, we made it to the top and we could keep going in that direction. But we've decided to uh, go back down the steps. I'd like to have a look down here. Now, it used to be quite a good spot for parking with your camper van, but unfortunately, there's a height barrier down there now. But um, we're going to go and have a little look down there. Port Patrick is in the distance there, and Sue's already started the descent on the staircase. Did you get wet then? Not really. No. 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 Just a bit of fun. There's a bit of a thump <laughs> and a Makes splash. You jump. <laughs> That's been fun. Oh, look out! Look out. <laughs> That's lovely up here. There's plenty of picnic areas and parking up here. We've just been standing next to this. Uh, this. <laughs> you want to get, know how close to get before you get wet. Anyway. <laughs> There's the cliff that we walked up. 
and we're now going back towards the uh, Port Patrick. Which is over in the distance behind the rocks there. We'll come down to the harbour here at Port Patrick and the Harbour House Hotel uh, is right here and uh, so like the look of Smuggler's Cove. Uh, it's a little, looks like it's a little antique sort of shop and uh, all sorts of bits and bobs in there but it, but it is closed. Uh, then we've got the Crown Hotel and the waterfront and then round this side here uh, the lifeboat is in here, the RNLI lifeboat and the lifeboat station and the harbour wall. And then we look out at the Irish Sea at high tide. Good morning. To, welcome back to Bosch Cats Camping. If, where have you been? <laughs> where are we going? On a bike ride. Yeah, we're going to do a bike ride this morning. We've been faffing about out here oh, yeah, for, well, about an, Trev has. for about an hour. You should see what he's done to my, my um, saddle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found out that whilst the bikes were laying on the ground yesterday, covered up, somehow the water's managed to drive its way onto Sue's saddle so it's a bit mm, spongy and wet then we don't want a little wet body do I we darling? I can't I'm going to slide off it. <laughs> you might slide off it. We're going to head along um, the coast here. We're, we're in Dumfries and Galloway's. We're looking for some stones. And yeah there's a chapel um, with some ancient stones that we're going to look for uh, and then after going I think we'll take the route through the village rather than the main road and then after that we're going to see if we can go a little further along just to find the beach further up which is quite spectacular well, I think it is, it looks really nice from the road so um, and then we'll come back along the road so we're not going to be gone long probably only a couple of hours and uh, here goes one of our banners yeah. so um, uh, and then we'll be back hopefully in time for lunch what's the time now? 10 o'clock so uh, yeah, a couple of hours should do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Now let's have a look at this saddle. Well, I don't think it's a bad job. That's a, yeah, it's a trespass carrier bag uh, <laughs> with a bit of tape on it. And this, <laughs> this, this is Sue's um, gel seat cover, which was a bit spongy and wet. So um, yeah, we kind of uh, yeah. And then Trev's bike. You're off for some exercise then. Yes. Well, we've made it to uh, the chapel. Um, I'll put the name on screen because I can't remember the name of the chapel. But we've um, come to up the hill, quite quite a steady incline up the hill um, to here on our bikes, and uh, it's peacefully quiet, very very quiet here. And there's a big glass window where the doorway used to be with a display of the ancient stones. So uh, Sue's just looking at it behind me here now. And I'll uh, also go up the hill and show you the, this beautiful old chapel. Oh. We're just reading uh, the uh, captions on here. Uh, some of these uh, date back from 600 AD um, and were carved by the local people. And um, between the 800s and the 1100s AD, um, people were uh, 
It's from comes from Scandinavian Kirk, you mean in church? Yeah. The arrival of the people coincided with the Norse expulsion from Dublin in 902. Um, so there's lots of claims to power mm. uh, during this time. Uh, trying to get these stones on without reflection in the glass I like, I like for the you. That the, the holes in this stone and people turning pebbles as they claimed this one here. Yeah, and Sue's talking about this one over here. And uh, fascinating, really. At the uh, ancient stones. Another couple over here with uh, this talks about distinctive design. Hope you can read that through the glass. Um, here, another big stone with carvings on it. Sorry, tapping the camera on the glass just to make it steady for you. And then the big, bigger stone just here. On the face of it, <laughs> they don't look all that impressive, but the, the age of these really is So saying you can't get in the church, so uh, okay. it's all locked up, which is understandable. Uh, we're in the, views. in the graveyard here, yeah, beautiful views, aren't they? So, yeah. um, all the way around us, uh, fabulous views. If I just walk back over here, you'll see um, the sun is uh, behind us there. You can see the chapel. There, and Sue's looking at this beautiful countryside in Dumfries and Galloway's in Scotland. And we're on the Mull of uh, Galloway. Some old gravestones here. It's a graveyard. And uh, uh, a big monument standing here. I've just come round to the side of it because the sun was in my face but Susan is going up to have a look at it. You'd hear a pin drop here. Just a few crows croaking away, chirping. If I get round the side here you can see, see this monument. In memory of John Lipchaget, the squire of Ardwell, who died October the 18th, 1810, aged 54, and was buried in the churchyard of Kirk Cowan in this county. Also of his wife, Susan Dean, who died January the 24th, 1801, and was buried in the Abbey Church of St Albans, Hertfordshire. Also of Sir John Lipchaget, Bart of Ardwell, who died August the 13th, 1867, Age 78, also of his wife Susan Susanna Keimer, who died December the 2nd, 1864, age 79. Yeah, so these must have been fairly important characters. Yeah, and there's something, in, there's something inscribed on that as well. On these that? lower stones are John, also, yeah. Bell, something. Bellamina? Who died? I can't read it. It's, uh, no, it's at age October, 37. October, age 37, it says it. Something aged. 1840, aged 37. 37. Oh, that's yeah. not very old, yeah. is it? 
So it's a memory of, uh, that's a big stone at the bottom here though. And uh, continuing round be in front of Sue there, the beautiful views. And you can, you're right Sue, you can see this sea from here, mm. which is the Irish Sea that spreads out. And Ardwell is down there somewhere, which was going to be our next stop. So we'll just take a few more shots of the chapel and then we'll make our way down. Well, we're on our way to Ardwell. We, we've got a choice of going to Ardwell Bay, which is on one side of the mall, and Ardwell, which is on the other. So we, we've chosen Ardwell because that is on the way back. But we've come across this beautiful, beautiful church. Now, uh, Jim, uh, who's with our IH uh, motorhome group, um, he's the local that's arranged this meetup, and he said that this church is um, very, very popular for people to get married in because it's so picturesque and you can see why. Take a look at that. That is a very, very pretty church. And it's a Ardwell Community Kirk. And uh, can be found on Facebook as well. So it's quite a popular venue this. And Sue's over there looking across looking around the gardens and the, and the graveyard. And as we always say, there's lots of crows around churches. We never really knew why. Beautiful, isn't it, Sue? So Yeah, Sue's just saying the trees are bare, aren't you, babe? Yeah, but it was really windy yesterday. I reckon they got blown off. Yeah, almost certainly. Yeah, this is a very tranquil little spot, though. And a car park across the road for all the guests. And it is a fabulous day here. Well, we're going to leave this church behind us now and head down towards the coast, as we planned. We'll see you at the next stop. Well, we've made it back from our ten and a half miles cycle ride, um, which was lovely because it uh, brought us neatly back to the village shop, and we've just bought uh, a couple of uh, local sausage rolls and uh, some crisps and uh, some chocolates. <laughs> so we're going to have a little bit of lunch here back at the van. I've just put Sue's um, my rider back on charge here. And uh, we've used, well, it's, sh it's still showing two or three pips on the uh, on the bike, so I've used a bit more on mine, being a bit heavier, I suppose, uh, if you know what I mean. And then, uh, as soon as Sue's is charged up, I'll charge mine back up, and then we'll get them back on the rack. I um, don't think we'll be using them again until we get to uh, Cumbria, which is our next stop, and we'll be travelling... Um, to Cumbria on Friday, which is tomorrow. So this is our last full day here at Sandhead. <laughs> 